good technique, special technique, and you get a more wealth of uh, different techniques. This guy been in the arts ever since I knew him from high school, uh, almost 35, over 35, 40 years now. We got, would you welcome Bert Richardson? You're going to show us a special technique from the grappling. Bert Richardson. Yeah. Sifu, Richard, and I can't tell you how, you know, growing up in Carson, I don't know if you know about Carson, but it's the greatest place on the planet. This is Carson. You come to my country, I mean my city, you so. <laughs> you know, you tell the wrong word, pow, it's a fight song. Now they told gun. You so. You're a blood, you're a crip. You know, that's Carson. We come from a bad area. That's what we're going to do over here. <laughs> <laughs> but also, the, there's all this bad influence about, you know, mentally, like, just bad thought process and all, and training just really kept me on track, because so I'm just so appreciative, so appreciative. So uh, so I'm just going to, so something of a similar thing, uh, if that, that swing comes and we go here, so we're going to just do it from a little different scenario, just like we're talking. We're going to have the guy that comes up, it's like, hey, you know, that whole thing, right? So what we're going to do, the same thing, he's going to start giving me that all that grief. I'm just going to put my hands up here and say, hey, I don't, I want a problem, sorry. You know, really don't want a problem. You're right. Even if you're he, wrong. He's a nice guy when he says, I'm sorry. <laughs> you see those two guys over there? <laughs> hey, I'm sorry. I didn't know it was your wife. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll pay for the baby. <laughs> That's a whole other thing. Yeah. Okay, so, so what we're going to do is first try to do the verbal de-escalation. Just try to make it go away, right? Because we don't want to end up in jail. Because sometimes, especially all this stuff we do, you know, you can hurt somebody really, really bad. And everybody has cell phones and they're videotaping. And guess what happens? This guy comes up and starts doing all this. They're grabbing their cell phone. They turn on the cell phone. And what do oh, they yeah. see? Bah, 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 bah. Right? And you see you just wrecking this guy. And they're like, oh, he just tore this guy to pieces. <laughs> You get in trouble, right? So, what we want to do first, I'll pass the hands up. Hey, I don't want a problem. Sorry. For whatever I did, sorry about that. And also notice from the Wing Chun idea, we're occupying center line. Occupying center line, not doing this. Hey, because for here, he can throw a straight jab, straight cross. He can hook around here. He can hook around here. Four options right there on the punches. That's a lot to process. So, instead, we're going to go occupy center line. Is he going to throw a jab now? You going to throw a straight cross? No, we're going to actually program him to go around. When he goes around, right, or so that the swing in there, then, then here we go right into what we're working. So just just to continue a certain sort of thing, we're going to go here. We'll just have him throw the big swing right now. When he does like this, go in. We're just going to come in and go right to the eyes. Okay? <laughs> we'll go to the eyes right there. From there, we're going to transition into the throat grab. Okay, supported throw grip. So if I just do this, he's going to back away real fast. So go here. Bang, right into here. Almost everybody's going to do what right here? He's going to grab my arms. While he's grabbing his arms, what are we doing? That's it. Okay? So that's simple. And then you can transition into all kinds of takedowns and stuff like that. But we're just going to go here. Hey, I really don't want a problem. He throws a swing. And boom, in we go. So the first thing, still the same idea. Turning that out like a bill saw. When that comes in, we go pop like this, and then from right there, you can either headbutt or whatever, but we're just going to go. This is actually a strike, right? You strike. Pump. Eyes in, into the eyes. Transition to that throw grab, keeping your head close. You don't want to do that because he might be tough and just still swinging, right? You're going to get him close. As he's grabbing at that, you're just throwing the knees. If he backs his hips away, he's turning it into a kick, right? So either he's going to end up bent over, where you can you know, go into certain types of controlling maneuvers, or he's going to end up kind of upright if he does that, and we can switch into like a head throw. But the main thing, just, hey, I don't want a problem, don't want a problem. That's outside for everybody to see. Inside, you're thinking, as soon as he flinches, I'm going. Not going to, as soon as he flinches, he's attacking, and that's what I'm going to go on, because that's the interception, right? The interception is when you attack on his preparation. 
not, oh, here comes the punch. And sometimes people, just one last thing, sometimes people say, oh, you, know, you can't do that. You have to wait for him to throw a punch at you. But to me, it's like, you see somebody pulling a gun. You go, man, as soon as that bullet's coming, <laughs> I know, I know. I miss preparation. All right? But thank you. All right, try that. Yeah. Now don't let God desire out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>